Hey, we're back. So, for this video, I want to walk through the basic level of programming for the text adventure game. The three things we need to do are to read and record the information in the YAML files, keep track of where the player is, and then allow the player to move around using the go command. So, we're going to start with the demo code that's provided in the skeleton and start adding in the pieces that we need. Let's go to that demo code now. Okay, so the main method here tries to read in the YAML file, spit out everything about it, but it doesn't save anything here. This for loop runs through everything in load all, but it prints them off to the screen, and by the time we get down here to our loop for the game, it's forgotten everything in the YAML file. So we need to create something up here that is going to save the locations from the YAML file. Okay, the things that we're going to be saving, they are going to be maps. Each of these pieces that we see over here is going to be a map of a string to an object, string to object, string to object. So we need to make another map, a map which is going to have a string to object. But this is going to be a global map for all of the locations. So this is going to be our places. That's equal to a new map string object. But notice that map is an interface, and we need to say we're really going to store a hash map here. I don't know what hash map is. Import the class, and we are all good. <clears throat> okay, places. That's where things need to go. So instead of printing them out, these things that we're getting back here from the reading of the YAML file, it gives us back an object, but we know that those individual things are locations. So what I want to do here is say, hey, map string object, I'm going to call you location, I need a name for you, and that is going to be what I cast thing as an object turns into a map from strings to objects, and that's going to be called location. Now where do I want location to go? I want location to be remembered inside places. So a location the way we talk to it is with put. Put is the way we set a key and a value. So definitely the value is going to be location. That's what we want to put in. But what is the key going to be? If we look back at these, the key can be the ID. So each chunk that we have has an ID. MC315, back 315, hallway E3, these are the kind of things that are described in the map. If you look at the map that I had way up here, the names of those rooms are the IDs that you will be seeing. So let's get back to where we were in our code. I want to say, hey, location, you're a, you're a map too. Get the string associated with ID. And why is it red squiggles? Because this map returns objects, right? But we have to cast it to be a string. Because we said that our lo not location, oh man, places, yes, oh that'll fix it. Places is a map from strings to objects, and so our keys have to be strings. And our values can be anything they want. They'll be objects. But I'm putting this particular map inside this bigger map. So I have a map of maps. And those maps are maps of strings to objects. So places is the place that has everything. And now I can go get them by knowing their ID. Okay, so that will take us through step one. We know that we can read things and remember them. Step two, we need to know where the player is 
and print out a description of their location. That is going to require us to save things out here as well. So this is going to be all the locations in places. Let's make a particular one here. Start it off as null because I don't know where I am. What I'm going to assume for whatever files that I load in, remember this is a general engine, I'm going to assume that the first one that I read is going to be the place where I start. So, boolean first, first equals false, and let's read something in. You get a location, put it inside places, and now if this is the first time I've been through this loop. Oops, let's start that off with true. If this is the first time that I've been through this loop, then here equals location. I don't want to do this again, so here's where I say first equals false. Okay, so I now have here. I am ready for it. And then right at the end here, right before we get started, we're going to say system.out.println. Let's talk to here. Here dot get. And which piece do I want? Well, let's go ahead and get the long description. Long description. Okay. So let's try to run this and see what kind of bugs I have. Because I've programmed for a while. That's two whole steps. That's probably too much. I should have tested it after the first one. Hey, look at that. It started off. The thing that it printed right here is what we're seeing down here. This is that first location. You're in MC Reynolds 315, and then you get the question mark. Okay, we're all good. I'm going to pause it there and start another video when to get to step 1.3, because that one takes a little bit longer to code. I want to give you this to you in bite-sized chunks. So steps one and two are what we just covered.